If you're a Galaxy device user, you'll want to stick around for today's video. We have some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming One UI 7 based on Android 15. Let's dive into everything you need to know. So it looks like Samsung is gearing up to release the latest update for its custom skin, One UI 7. They started notifying users about some cool new features, but also some changes that might take you by surprise. And today, we're going to break it all down. One of the first things you'll notice in One UI 7 is a change in the air zone. That's the camera feature where you can quickly access some cool tools. If you're familiar with quick measure, DecoPick, and a doodle, you're going to see something a little different. These popular features are no longer part of the air zone and you won't be able to access them directly from the camera anymore. But don't worry, Samsung isn't completely ditching these features. Instead, they've made them available as standalone apps on the Galaxy Store. So if you're still a fan of Quick Measure or a Doodle, you can easily download them back whenever you want. Another major change is with Air Emoji, which is getting a bit of a makeover. It's being rebranded to Galaxy Avatar. This change is all about giving users a more personalized avatar experience. So expect some cool new options to customize your avatar and really make your own. It's all about adding that personal touch to your Galaxy device. Next up, if you've been itching to try out One UI 7 before the official release, there's good news for you. The Samsung Members app, which is key for joining the One UI beta programs, is already being prepped for the One UI 7 beta. Tipster Tyan Vas uncovered some hidden pages in the app's latest update, version 5.101. That point to features for enrollment, sign up, and even withdrawal from the One UI 7 beta. This means Samsung is very close to launching the beta program. So if you're looking to get an early look at the new features and changes, this is your chance. Now let's talk performance. A lot of mid-range device users will be happy to know that One UI 7 is making its way to some of the more affordable Galaxy models too. For example, the Galaxy M33, which isn't exactly a flagship device, has been spotted running the latest One UI 7 update on Geekbench and the results are looking pretty impressive. According to Leaker Turan, the Galaxy M33 scored 939 in single-core performance and 1,986 in multi-core performance. These are solid results for a mid-range phone, which shows that One UI 7 and Android 15 are doing a great job of optimizing even budget-friendly devices. The update will definitely help your phone run smoother and feel snappier, even if you're not rocking a flagship model. So what else can we expect from One UI 7? Well, aside from performance improvements, this update is set to introduce new features, improve security, and refine the overall user interface. Samsung is really focused on delivering a smooth, fluid experience for all of its users. Whether you're using a premium phone or a more affordable mid-range device, One UI 7 will make sure your Galaxy experience is as modern and responsive as possible. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates on Samsung's latest software. If you have any questions or thoughts about One UI 7, feel free to leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'll catch you in the next video.